Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? There's a dead body in the pool. Rafi had been a lifeguard at the pool in Portugal for several years, and he loved watching the drama unfold from his tower. It was opening day at the pool, and he was scanning the water when his attention was drawn to a teen who snapped one of the girls' bathing suits tops off. Rafi blew his whistle and jumped into action without hesitation. Rafi recognized the teen from the previous year. He was a troublemaker who had been banned from the pool for terrorizing younger kids and sneaking in after the pool was closed. Rafi threatened to ban the young man again, but then the woman with raven hair and sharp features stepped in. She told Rafi that he didn't have to ban him on her account. I'm sure karma will get him eventually, she said cryptically. Rafi warned the boy this was his last chance. The raven-haired teen jumped high in the air and dove gracefully into the water. As the day wore on, Rafi heard screams coming from the water. It was a troublemaker again. Rafi saw that this teen's neck was bleeding. The boy explained that he had been bitten by something that had swooped down on him. The pool medic checked him over and suggested that it was likely caused by someone's flippers grazing his neck. But Rafi couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right. The young woman was still there, watching from afar, smirking. She reminded him of something he couldn't quite put his finger on. As the closing bell rang, Rafi was relieved. He went through his checklist, making sure the place was empty before locking up. But as he turned around, he came face to face with the young woman. Rafi was taken back by her sudden appearance. He thought he cleared the place. Did she sneak back in? As she leaned uncomfortably close to him, he told her the pool was closed. He turned to let her out, but when he looked back, she had vanished. Then it hit him. His grandmother used to tell him stories about the brusha, a witch-like creature from Jewish folklore that could shapeshift into a bat and prey on humans by biting them on the neck. He hurried home. The next morning, Rafi returned to the pool to find that the locked-up gate was open and there was a backpack on the ground. He stormed in expecting the troublemaker had broken in again, but as he got closer to the pool, all he could see was red water. His heart sank as he saw the lifeless body of the boy floating in the pool. Rafi was in shock. He began to wonder if his grandmother's stories about the Bruja might have been true. The incident shook Rafi to his core. The pool was closed for investigation, and all he could think about was the young woman with the raven hair. According to the news report, The water mixed with blood made it look worse, but in truth, the body had been almost drained. Rafi became obsessed with finding out who the raven-haired woman was and what she had to do with the teen's death. Days passed and Rafi couldn't shake the feeling that something sinister was at play. While brushing his teeth, the water in his sink would turn red for no reason. At night, he heard cackling laughter in the distance. With nerves frayed, Rafi went out for a beer with some friends, and on his walk home, he had the feeling that he was being watched. He kept turning around to try to catch whatever was lurking in the shadows. He tried to brush it off, but he couldn't shake that feeling that something terrible was going to happen. Then he heard a noise. It sounded like a bird, but it was too loud and close. Something flew past his head, He whipped around and there was the raven-haired young woman he had been searching for. Ravi's heart pounded as he watched her transform before his eyes. Feathers sprouted from her skin, growing into a dense coat of black that concealed what lay beneath. Her jaws elongated into razor-sharp fangs and her body shook with violent spasms. As Ravi tried to run, his legs felt glued to the spot. He could only watch in terror as the creature let out this horrible scream and lunged towards him. At that moment, Rafi thought his life was over, but much to his surprise, she spread her enormous wings and took off into the night sky, letting out a squawk that almost sounded like a laughter in the words, Karma! Karma! Rafi was safe for now, but the knowledge that the Brusha existed weighed heavily on him. 
and even the swoop of feathers can trigger a sharp sting in his neck. 